Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. For our first project, we're going to use two of Dollar Tree's dimpled vases. They have the most beautiful texture on there. You'll need a paper bowl or a styrofoam bowl and some Mod Podge. We're going to pour the Mod Podge into the bowl and then we'll be adding some food coloring. I'm going to use red to start off with and depending on how dark you want your vase, that is how many drops of red you'll need. So I added quite a few drops. I'm going to use a latex glove to protect my skin from that food coloring and we're going to mix it really, really well with a paintbrush. Then we're going to lay out a piece of wax paper to protect our surface and we can start painting our vase. Now I'm going to paint the entire outside of this vase and depending on how dark you want your color to be, let that first coat dry to see if you need to add a second coat. When it dries, you'll still be able to see through the glass but it'll have this beautiful color to it. So it will darken up a little bit. So after the first coat, I allowed it to dry and I was pretty pleased with the bottom, but I added another layer at the top rim. Now keep that Mod Podge mixture because we're going to add some more coloring to it and paint a second vase. I'm going to take some blue food coloring and add quite a few drops of that in there and mix it really well. I wanted more of a blue purple color. Make sure as you mix it that you also mix the paint that's inside of your paintbrush really well. We're going to do just like we did with the first vase. Paint it, allow it to dry after that first coat to see if you need to add a second coat. And don't worry about it, it's going to darken up a little bit. This is how they look. I ended up only using one coat of each and I loved the color that comes out. You can still see all of those beautiful dimples that kind of settles down in there, but you can still see through the glass somewhat. We're going to use two of Dollar General's metal solar lights because the top part is much more narrow than the ones at Dollar Tree and they are the perfect fit for these vases. Now these do have an on and off button, so make sure you turn them on. You can set them directly on top of the vase, or if you want more of a permanent hold, add a little bit of E6000 to glue that down. I have them sitting on a glass table, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Now if you add the plastic piece back to the solar light, it gives off a more vibrant glow. Here you can see a hint of that blue right on the background, and you can see all of that gorgeous texture from the dimpled vase. For the next project, I'm using one of Dollar Tree's glass vases. It has a gorgeous design to it. We're going to remove the label. We're also using some of their floral glass gems. They come in several different colors. I'm using green for this one. Make sure you pick up the ones that have a flat side on one side of it. Using a permanent glue, I'm using Gorilla Glue, and we're gonna use some hot glue for that temporary hold. You're gonna wanna add your permanent glue on there, and then don't mix it with your hot glue because they tend not to work very well if they mixed together. I'm starting at the bottom of the vase, right at the rim, and I'm going to work my way around until I get that first row on there. Then the second row, I'm going to add right below two of the gems on there, and we'll just continue to go around until we finish that first bag of the decorative glass gems. So you'll get about this far down the vase with one bag. You will need an additional bag to finish this off. I'm going to add those all the way till I get to the rim. Now it's going to be a little bit of glass showing. So I'm going to add those gems. They're going to stick up a little bit further than the rim at the top of the vase. Do that all the way around and then remove all of your glue strands. And this is how it's looking. It's absolutely gorgeous. We're going to use a solar light from Dollar Tree. Remove the stake, make sure you pull that tab out, and then you can set this directly inside or you can use some permanent glue to attach it inside of your vase. 
It's gorgeous during the day, but it is even more beautiful at night. You can see the shapes of the gemstones reflecting off of the light. If you don't want to use the glass vase, grab one of Dollar Tree's glass bowls and we're going to use some blue gemstones for this. We're going to do this the exact same way we did with the vase, starting at the bottom and working our way up to the rim. Make sure you use a permanent glue because if you only use hot glue, they will pop off of the glass. This is how far you'll get down with one bag, so you will need an additional bag to finish that off. Then I'm going to use my hair dryer once I have all of the gemstones in place to remove any of the glue strands. We're going to take one of Dollar Tree's solar lights. Make sure you remove the tabs and the labels. We're going to take the top part of the solar light and we're going to glue that inside of our glass bowl so that it's going to look something like this. So when you add your permanent glue, make sure you're adding it only to the black parts and not on the panels. Set that down in there and let that glue set up thoroughly. I let mine set for a couple of hours. Then I took the plastic piece out so I can flip it over because it's not going to set level if you leave that plastic piece on there. I wanted to finish off adding the gems at the top but making sure not to cover up the solar panel. I'm again removing all of the glue strands. Now you could take the plastic piece out and leave it set on a table just like this. It's absolutely gorgeous. Or you could set it in your garden like that. Or you can add the plastic piece back on as well as the stake and you can set this inside of your garden like this. This turned out absolutely gorgeous. Our next project is super simple. Have you seen these mason jars with the handles at Dollar Tree? Here is the barcode if you guys are interested in that. Go ahead and remove that label from the bottom of the mason jar. And we're gonna use one of Dollar Tree's solar lights. Remove the stake. Now you can add this with the plastic piece on there or you can take it off. I'm gonna show you both ways how it looks. You can permanently glue it on there or just set it on top. With the plastic piece on there, it gives off a nice, beautiful light, and you can hang these on those Dollar Tree hooks and place them on your walkway to brighten up your walkway space. They're absolutely gorgeous. If you take the plastic piece off, it still gives off a really nice light and a beautiful glow on the ground. Once you decide if you want the plastic piece or not, make sure to permanently glue the solar light to the mason jar. And you may want to put a bead of silicone around that to prevent any water from getting inside of the mason jar. If you like coastal decor, you're going to love this project. Grab one of these textured vases from Dollar Tree that has the rope handle already attached. Here is the barcode if you guys need that. Also grab some of their pebbles. These are the blue-green pebbles. I went ahead and put the entire bag inside of this jar and grab some of Dollar Tree's seashells. Pick out your favorite ones and add those on top of the pebbles. Then grab one of Dollar Tree's solar lights and remove the plastic piece as well as that stake. Add your permanent glue to the rim of the jar and then add your solar light directly on top. Now you can add this to one of Dollar Tree's hangers outside and it is absolutely gorgeous in the day. And at night it is even more beautiful because you can see all of the detail and the lights just light up all of those gorgeous seashells. If you don't wanna hang it on a hanger because it is pretty heavy, you could always set it on a table and it makes such a beautiful statement piece.
The next project is one that I wanted to try for a while now, so this is a learning process. Grab some Dollar Tree latex balloons, blow them up in various sizes. I'm showing you three here, but I only use two of these. You're going to need some of these yard balloon sticks. They come with two plastic pieces, an extender, or a connector piece, and then the piece that goes on the end to hold the balloon. So you'll just snap these two long pieces together, and then the opposite end of the pointy end, because that's the one that goes in the ground, we're gonna put the balloon piece on the other end. And then set that to the side for right now. Using a disposable bowl and some Elmer's glue, I'm gonna pour the entire bottle of glue in there. So it is going to take one bottle of glue per balloon. I'm setting this on some wax paper, and then I'm gonna use some of this jute twine. It comes in three rolls at 100 foot per roll, and this is in the automotive section at Dollar Tree. This works out perfect because you pull the end from the center, and then it'll just pull completely out as you're going along. So you'll dip that end into your glue, and then take a paintbrush that you don't mind throwing away later because it's gonna be ruined. Just set that on the top of the twine and pull it through the glue so it's nice and saturated. Then we're gonna tie our end piece around where we tied our balloon off at. We're gonna start wrapping the balloon with the twine. Now, I went in the same direction, kind of just making sections at a time, overlapping it where the balloon is tied off at. You may wanna wear some gloves because it's pretty messy. I didn't mind it being messy because it was kind of fun. I felt like a kid playing in glue, but it is definitely makes a mess. Once you get to where you've used up all of your twine that you've already saturated in the glue, just do another long section the same way you did before by pushing it down with that paintbrush and then start going in all different directions. You'll do that until you use the entire 100 foot roll of twine. When you get to the end piece, just tuck it underneath one of the other pieces of twine and add a little bit of glue to the top of that. Now we're gonna take that yardstick and we're going to take an extra piece of twine to tie around the top part of where the balloon is tied off, not where we've already glued all those pieces. This is just a dry piece of twine. We're gonna pull it through that yardstick and then wrap it around and then tie it through those little three prongs. Then you can set this outside in some loose soil and let it dry completely. Now you can make as many as you want. I'm only making two. And I did let mine dry overnight. Now, like I said, this is a learning process. First time I've ever done this. So for the first one, I came back once it dried overnight and I cut the twine that was holding the yardstick on there. And then I just decided I'm gonna go ahead and pop that balloon, thinking that it was just gonna deflate and it was gonna be beautiful. Well, it does deflate, and once you dig the little balloon piece part out, there's a lot of dried up glue in there. So if you guys have tried a project similar to this, let me know what you did. What I did was I kinda set that one to the side because it was all dried up, and for the second one, I said, let me take a spray bottle of water and I sprayed it all over the twine. Now you don't wanna saturate it too much cause it's, you know, then it's gonna lose its shape. You just wanna kinda loosen the glue up from the balloon a little bit. And then when I popped the balloon, it left a lot less dried up glue on there. And you'll see in just a second. It deflated much easier and it left a little bit of the dried up glue, but not as much as the first one. So I went back over it, spritzing it with some water, and then I took one of Dollar Tree's like stencil brushes and very gently went over it to kind of blend that glue in. Like I said, you don't want to saturate it too much because then it's going to lose its shape. Then we're gonna take one of Dollar Tree's solar lights and just remove the top part of that. Taking some dry twine, I'm gonna hot glue that around the base or the middle part of the solar light about a couple of times. 
Then I'm going to pull out a little bit of that twine to give me a nice length of space there so we can make a hanger for it. Then I'll hot glue it to the other side, wrap it around a few more times, hot gluing it down, and also making sure that I overlap those two pieces that we pulled down to create that hanger. So it should be looking something like this. We'll glue that end piece on there and then find a space on your twine ball that you can spritz just a little bit with water to loosen it up so that you'll be able to push that solar light down in there. Then pull it by the hanger back up tight to the top of the twine ball and then move those twine pieces around so that once they dry, they're going to cover up and hold in that solar light there. But you don't want to completely cover up the solar panel itself. So I went ahead and spritzed the second ball, did the same thing with that stencil brush, kind of blending that glue in, and then added the solar light with the hanger. So I don't recommend that you would hang these outside where they could get rained on. You could definitely put them on a covered porch because if I could spritz it with water and it loses its shape, I would imagine the rain would make it lose its shape. The next one is not really a DIY, but I have not seen these before. These are solar stair lights that I found at Dollar Tree. They come with two screws so that you can attach them to the wood on your stairs, or you could hang them on a wall. So let's try them out and see how well they do. Now I apologize, it is drizzling rain as I was recording this, so that's why you'll see those little dots on the screen. But I am very impressed by these. They're not overly bright, they give off just enough light so that you can see the stairs, but they're not blinding you. I think they are well worth $1.25. So you guys let me know if you have tried these out at your house. For our next project, I will be using two of Dollar Tree's planners. These are the 8-inch planners that look like faux wood barrels. They are super cute. I'm also using two of Dollar Tree's lantern solar lights. Remove the stake from the bottom of one of them. Go ahead and plant whatever beautiful greenery or flowers that you want in your planner. And then add the solar light without the stake directly in the front and the one with the stake directly behind that in the back. Now these are so beautiful to set on a table in your garden or to line your stairs with. I'm actually going to be setting mine on each side of my rain barrel that I made last year. I'll leave the video link in the cards above if you guys want to check out that DIY rain barrel video. These are so pretty in the daylight, but at nighttime, oh my goodness, look at all that gorgeous light that is flowing at the bottom. And you can see all of those beautiful flowers they are so detailed like i love the way you can look through the lantern in the front and you can see the greenery and the flowers behind it i think it's just absolutely gorgeous if you have a favorite project out of today's video let me know in the comment section down below i always love to know which one is your favorite thank you so much for spending time with me today please take care and i will see you guys next time